All right, Helldiver, so we have a little bit of an update today, and just bear with me on this one. I'm not really for it or against it, so before you go hitting that dislike button like crazy, like I'm the developer or the company, you know, just, you know, kind of bear with what's going on here. Um, we're just going to go through this really quick. Uh, this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about this uh issue let's call it that anyway it says attention hell divers due to technical issues at launch of hell divers 2 where we allowed the linking they allowed it the linking requirements for steam accounts to a playstation network account to be temporarily optional so this is a temporary thing so we know that now uh grace that grace period will now expire see details in the post below and that also goes on to account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. Now it also goes on with uh, this is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows play players to have been banned the right to appeal. Okay, well, as such, uh, as of May 6th, which is a few days from now, uh, all new Helldiver 2 players <laughs> on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start seeing the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. And it says, we understand that while this may be an inconvenience for some of you, this step will help us continue to build a community that <laughs> that you are all proud of to be a part of. Many thanks to your continued support of Helldivers 2. And it is signed, and this is the most important part, by Sony Entertainment, Sony Interactive Entertainment, excuse me. Um, now, this is not Helldivers developers that are putting this through. It's not Helldivers themselves. They have a partnership with Sony and Sony is requiring them to do this. I highly doubt that they are being uh, truthful on this one anyway, um, where it was, oh, this was temporary, temporarily optional. No, I'm pretty sure they just did that because they wanted to make sure that they got as many players as possible. And if they people were required to log into a PlayStation account, they probably would have just said, nope, refund and went back to their daily lives or other games because there are many other games out there. Now, I personally don't mind it that much. Um, I have a PlayStation account that was connected to my PlayStation and I could, you know, just go ahead and link that one or I could just start another account or whatever, but it is kind of predatory in a way, I guess, that they're doing it like this. Uh, they're saying, oh, well, now we're going to do this and now you need to actually sign up for a PlayStation Network account. The game has been doing extremely, extremely well and Sony it may just screw that up. This is going to make a lot of people upset. A lot of people uh, are very one-sided to either PlayStation or uh, PC or PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, a lot of, you know, PC players uh, will do, you know, Xbox, but they will absolutely not do PlayStation account because of a lot of the past security risks. And that is the main thing right there. PlayStation slash Sony has had a lot of security issues in the past, and a lot of people may be worried about that. And, you know, I, I don't blame them. I don't blame anybody for it. I don't blame if you're mad about this. I don't blame if, if you're, you know, just okay with it like I am. Uh, and if you just like to have just your Steam account, or even if you just like to have just your PlayStation account, and you like to have them separate. A lot of people do. That is just the nature of, uh, you know, computer, computers and computing and gaming all in general. Um, making people do this is probably a really bad idea when the game is doing so well. Um, I think, I know I can't, you know, tell the future or anything, but I really think that this is going to 
not take it down, but it's going to dwindle its numbers, which Sony is thinking, oh, we were going to get more signups for our PlayStation Network and more people that we can send emails to about new stuff that we want to push. Oh, that's just that's the idea of it. I mean, I mean, Sony and PlayStation, it is a company. We have to remember that, uh, yes, they are entertainment companies and they do uh, provide games, but they are in central a corporation <laughs> that their whole goal and main primary goal is to get money out of you as much money as possible. And, you know, your, I guess, our, uh, <laughs> our entertainment is a very small part of that. As long as we're still paying for things, they don't mind or care about anything else. It's not part of their agenda. I mean, as long as we keep on playing, that is the idea. Now, I don't do hate content much, and this isn't really considered that, and I just want to put out my opinion on the whole, you know, PlayStation, uh, Sony trying to do this kind of nefarious thing that I know people are just going to be upset about. And I mean, if you like the game, I, I say just go ahead and make the PlayStation account. Hopefully uh, there will be some partitions out there that we can sign and and ask against this thing. But it is still, you know, their IPs that they're, you know, in charge of. I mean, there's a partnership that Sony has with uh, the Hell Divers 2 uh, company, uh, and they have to abide by that. Um, and here's the worst part of it: when we got the game and we signed up, we did agree to their, you know, a terms of service. And it's in there that they can pretty much do this kind of thing, do anything with our accounts. And uh, but signing up for the PlayStation Network account that also brings in uh, more things that you have to agree to. Uh, in part of the actual, you know, Sony Interactive of uh, terms of service in uh, agreement that they have with us. But yeah, I'm I'm not happy about it. I am pretty sure many of you are not as well. They need to just let the game just go how it is and let Helldivers 2 devs, you know, work on their security of everything that way. Um, I, I, I don't know. I really wish there was a better solution to this, but Steam players may end up going down quite a bit in the next uh, few days. All right, just a quick reminder. We are doing uh, currently two, well, no, mostly two uploads per day. We have one at 10 a.m., which is my no commentary on Helldivers 2. Uh, I try to keep one going every single morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. And then we also have you know, a random game. Currently, we're re rotating with um, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, and No Man's Sky. Um, Fallout 76, I don't know how much more we're going to do with that one yet because I haven't been having that much fun with it. Um, but my wife has been working her tail off on you know, editing these videos. She just learned how to edit, and she's doing a really, really good job. So definitely appreciate y'all uh, you know, hitting those like the like button and everything and giving all that uh, encouragement for her to keep doing this anyway that's all we're gonna do for this video today make sure you hit the like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel y'all take care and happy gaming